Hello, welcome to cooking with Arun Kumar. Today, I'm very excited to show you this recipe. You know why? Last seven years I've been in America, but we never had this. So, you wanna guess what? Okay. Finally, after seven years, we have found some goat meat here and so we have like contacted some few local people like farmers who sometimes they butcher us. somebody say oh they're not doing any more right now and so we say okay so somehow we find out and some place where they sell goat meat we said that's great so we got it yesterday okay so now so the goat actually we call mutton in india we call mutton curry or mutton like all the different dish and so I'm gonna make today mutton do piazza or you can say goat do piazza so do means two piazza means onion so this is uh, the what the story about when Mughal was uh, King Akbar was ruling and in his kingdom his uh, chef so some by mistake he he put too much onion in the in goat dish and so but it's turned out very good so they that's how they call do piaja so do piaja so this is two meaning behind this they said do means two piaja means onion so some say because uh, either they use only two onion or others say you they use onion twice so like a once first they use one part and second part so there's like two so i'm gonna use the second way uh, second one because i like that way, that way and I like onion, you know. So here I'm gonna show you what we need for that. We need, of course, we need mutton or goat. I'm using pound and a half goat, onion. So I'm using, uh, so I'm using like two, you know, big size of onion. So this is one uh, onion. I just slice them, and another onion I'm gonna use in second, you know, second part. So I'm saving that one. So this is one onion slice and here is the garlic. I'm using eight to 10 cloves of garlic, first garlic chopped. And this is ginger. I'm using three inch ginger chopped. And here's a salt to taste. And here's the tomatoes. I'm using uh, either three Roma tomato or if you using canned tomato or if you have canning, you know, from your garden, you can use a uh, 12 ounces, uh, 12 ounces of tomato, and uh, and here's the spices I'm using. You can see I'm using a. Uh, I'll start here. So here I'm using four whole cloves, and around like 20 peppercorn. I'm using a uh, one, two inch uh, cinnamon stick, four green cardamom one whole chili you don't have to use this whole chili you can use a one four teaspoon of chili powder and i'm using half teaspoon of cumin seed and i'm using one tablespoon of coriander powder and one teaspoon of garam masala and i'm using a one teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder okay here i'm heating uh, two to three tablespoon of olive oil here right here so if so when oil is hot, I'm gonna fry this mutton here. Okay, so oil is hot here. Okay, oil is hot. I'm gonna fry this mutton. Okay, I'm gonna fry this in medium heat. Just one to two minutes. Okay, so now the, you can see like uh, mutton, I just fry this for two minutes. I'm going to put this here. In the same pot, I'm going to use one t uh, tablespoon of olive oil. So now I'm going to use all the whole spices. I'm going to use the cinnamon stick here. Cumin seed.
black paper cone and clove and also I'm gonna use this uh, green cardamom but I'm gonna crush them first so I'm gonna use this cream cardamom but I'm gonna crush them here first so I crushed this uh, green cardamom and took the skin off so I'm gonna put right here and two bay leaves I forgot to tell you and one whole chili so this whole chili is optional just fry this over nice fragments actually so good so I fry this for like a two two minutes only now I'm gonna add this onion and I'm gonna fry this onion like uh, I'm gonna like kind of like I'm gonna caramelize this onion so maybe like a five to six minutes. In in uh, this uh, dish, mutton do piaja or goat do piaja, and piaja is onion. So onion is like a main ingredient here. Okay, so now I'm gonna add all these other spices. Garam masala, turmeric powder, coriander powder. Let's mix this all well. And now, after this, I'm gonna add ginger. I'm gonna cook this ginger for like two minutes. And after you know putting the powder spices, you know they they observe the oil. So if you see there's like nothing, if you see like your spices getting burned or something, you can like put two tablespoons of water. You can even you can add uh, more oil also, but I. I don't really use too much oil, so I just use like two tablespoons of water and like this cover this. So then it's where, you know, the steam gonna go, st gonna stay in and the water, so we don't need to add any more water here right now. Okay, now I'm gonna add this garlic. One, I'm gonna fry this one minute, this garlic. So now I'm gonna add this tomatoes. This tomato for like two minutes, two to three minutes only. It has been two minutes, so now I'm gonna add some salt here. I'm gonna add two teaspoon of salt. I'm using sea salt, so sea salt and other salt I think has a little different because other salt is like don't need so much. So you just use you can use just one teaspoon first, then later you can add more. Okay, now I'm gonna. I'm just gonna turn this stove off and keep this pan aside so let this cool off first and then I'm gonna blend it but if you're okay because you know I use whole spices so that's why I like to blend them I don't like spices come in my mouth like black pepper you know this whole chili clove you know so I'm gonna blend them so otherwise you can uh, use you can put mutton right now here and cook it but I'm gonna wait when it's cool off, so then I'm gonna blend this. You know, to make a more faster the cool off, you can add a little bit cold water here, like maybe 
five tablespoon to cool off faster and then you can blend them okay so I'm gonna blend this now because it's cool off and but you have to be very careful when you're blending make sure this is cool off otherwise when it's hot you know it's gonna come off and gonna burn you so be careful okay so I already burned this here now I'm gonna add the same pot I'm gonna put all this uh, sauce here and I'm gonna add this mutton here or goat mix them well so now I'm gonna add this roughly chopped one whole onion here right here you know as I was telling you this is second part of onion I'm using and I'm gonna add one cup of water so I'm gonna put water here because we I'm gonna add water here because we have so much uh, spices here still here I'm gonna I'm not gonna waste any mix this all well I added one cup here you can add in more than one cup you know uh, water here because the I'm not gonna wanna I don't want so much uh, sauce I want like a little bit like dry kind of a little bit so so there's two way you can cook so you know if it's young goat I don't know if it's young goat if it's young goat you don't have to cook in the pressure cooker it's cook faster but I don't know this goat so I'm gonna pressure cook this so I'm gonna cook this for like uh, two or three whistle comes or maybe like 15 to 20 minutes but you can cook this until this uh, if you're cooking in the normal pot you can use normal pot and you can cook until this meat is soft you know like tender okay so this is done and I cook this for around like 20 minutes and I let this sit there uh, you know until this all steam come out naturally so now nothing is there press this open if if you using a pressure cooker you have to make sure all the steam is out when you lift this you know and check or oh, it's nothing is coming so that means you can easily open this lid otherwise if you try to open this you know harder which is not good it might uh, make accident so you have to be careful and also one more thing you know when you cook sometime when you cook uh, like food like this you have to make sure because sometimes you know in the bottom if a uh, sauce is touching the bottom or like you know meat is touching bottom if you when you stir this it might like fly up like you know can come on you like hard so you have to wait do like this keep the lid on like this just for uh, like our safety now it's done good okay this uh, mutton do piaja or goat do piaja is ready okay i'm gonna taste this now here is our mutton do piaja is ready you can see and you can garnish this with cilantro fresh cilantro it's pretty hot i know wow almost a uh, year and a half since we having mutton so when we were in india so we were eating a lot there mutton or goat meat so one thing in a goat meat there's like lots of bone you don't don't find so much meat in there but it basically you can eat like you know bone soup kind of you know you can eat this uh, uh, mutton or goat meat with uh, rice naan or indian flatbread which we call roti so i hope you will enjoy this and let me know if you can get some good goat meat somewhere i will order there too <laughs> so if you have any question Feel free to ask me and all the descriptions are below. All the links are below. My Amazon and eBay. You can copy and paste to open this. And see you next time.